let me just start off this video by saying that I will be seeing Taylor Swift in five days. I will be seeing Miss Taylor Allison Swift in five days. I did not know that I was going to see her three days ago. So I'm freaking out a little bit. I don't know what I'm going to wear. Kind of got to figure that out. I'm excited. I'm scared. I'm nervous. I'm afraid of my emotional stability once I see her on stage. All of the above, you know, really, really all of the emotions. Before we begin trying to figure out what I'm going to wear, let's discuss how we got to this point. I had been contemplating for a while just buying one single ticket to opening night and just driving alone, getting a hotel room alone, making friends at the show and just like having a very cathartic spiritual experience. And then Tristan and I were like, well, maybe we could go together opening night. And then Carly told us that Carly and Aaron and some of her friends were getting a party bus on the second night. And then after that, we were kind of sold. We were like, okay, let's get two tickets to the second night, join them on the party bus, go to the show and just have a fucking blast. The next morning I had purchased tickets for me and Tristan. It all happened so so fast. I just need, I need to see her. So we need to figure out an outfit. That is what this video is about. We are figuring out what we are wearing to the era's tour. I am knitting something. I could just buy clothes like a normal person and fit a specific era, but you guys know that I'm gonna force myself to knit something in the next five days. I, I have to knit something. I'm not gonna not knit something. All I have so far up here in this noggin is lyrics. One of my favorite songs is Delicate. I wanted to make a sweater that said, you can make me a drink or do the girls back home touch you like I do, which I love those lyrics. But are are they representative of the era's tour? I don't really think so. I don't feel like that kind of communicates the vibe of this coming weekend. I also consider just doing something that says the music industry because as we know Taylor Swift is the music industry. I could do something that just says William Bowery fan club which is Joe Alwyn's pin name when he's written songs with Taylor Swift. So it's just kind of like an if you know you know situation. What I decided yesterday is I'm going to make a sweater that says what a shame she's fucked in the head. She would have made such a lovely champagne problems on Evermore. That feels a little bit more of the moment. That feels like, yeah, like I'm fucked in the head for buying tickets. And actually we don't even have a hotel yet. <laughs> we have not booked a hotel. Okay. So yeah, there, there you go. Like what a shame I'm fucked in the head for buying these tickets and making the sweater in a matter of five days. What a shame Tristan's fucked in the head that we're this fucked in that we haven't even purchased a hotel room and we have these tickets and we are already driving. Anyways, Taylor also fucked in the head. Okay. This tour that's like all encompassing of her every era of her entire career. So many albums that she has never performed live officially. Everyone is a little crazy. That's kind of where I'm at with my outfit. I know the lyrics and we'll kind of see what happens. By the end of the week, there will be something on my body. Okay, update. And yes, I am wearing a young Taylor Swift on my person. I've completed the front and the back panel. So what we have right now, hold on, let me take off my sweatshirt. So this is the back panel and I chose this like tan and orange color because the lyrics are from Evermore and Evermore is kind of more of like an orangey, tan, dark gray. That's how I landed on these colors. This is the front panel, which I'm honestly hating. I'm going to attach these two and see what they look like. I think it might look like shit. I think it might look like shit. I'm just like not liking like where my boobs are hitting with the words. I'm like, why are my boobs hitting? not I'm not really liking it if I had made it just like a little bit wider it wouldn't be pulling on my boobs as much but maybe I'm being hard on myself it's also like I like the colors because it's like what the album is but I also think the colors kind of look like vomit ugh yeah, after thinking about it, I am starting over. I don't like it. I don't like the fit. I don't think the colors are like fun, even though they fit evermore. I want something like brighter. It's just not gonna turn out the way that I want. So I think what I might do, I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Today is Tuesday. I need to finish this by Saturday morning is when we're leaving. I need to just scrap it while I have the amount of time left that I still do. 
I don't really want to talk about it. Can you tell that I don't really want to discuss? I'm having a little bit of a crisis. The only thing that can make it better is if Taylor Nation, Taylor's official fan account, for some reason DMs me saying that I get to meet her. Like I, I feel like I could cry. I, I just feel like I wasted the last like 48 hours making this. I want it to be a really good sweater and I know that this is going to just not make me happy. I'll talk to you guys once I make some progress on whatever I'm making next. <sighs> I don't think I have ever knit as much as I just knit in a short of amount of time that I just knit. I feel like I have carpal tunnel. My hands hurt so much. I managed to finish a panel and then some, but I ran out of yarn. So we're doing pink, different dimensions. I cast it on more stitches. I did more rows. I'm feeling better about the overall fit. Instead of knitting the letters like in the fabric with color work or intarsia, that technique, I've decided to stitch the letters after the fact. I don't really know why I've never done it before. Before, so I'm actually just creating more problems for myself probably, but I just wasn't liking the blocky letters. I'm just sick of it and I think I can do a more interesting font, kind of like more swirly letters. So we'll see how that goes. I also decided to do a hem that's rolled like this, which I am also kind of regretting because this is what you shouldn't do. Part of me was like, I think that looks kind of cute. Like if I'm doing this rolled neck and I'm doing a rolled hem, it might be cute. The truth is, is that we're not confident in any of the decisions that we have made at all up to this point. In the slightest. It is about 1 a.m. I have been knitting straight since like 3 p.m. I think I only stopped to like go get dinner and eat and like talk to Megan. But even while I was talking to Megan, I was fully knitting. I was like, I want to hang out with you. Just know I will be knitting the whole time. I just wanted to keep going until I ran out of yarn. That was my goal. And now I can't knit anymore. So we have to go to bed. We will be heading up the yarn store in the morning, powering through the second panel. I don't really have a game plan for the sleeves. I think I would have like just kind of formed a foolproof plan before starting anything. That's just not what's happening with this project. Maybe because I have no plan, it'll turn out to be like really cool. I'm feeling really stressed. Good morning, Upper East Siders. We secured our yarn. Praying it's the right color. This is a rookie mistake. You always want to bring your project with you so you can confirm it is the right color while you're still at the store. 99% sure that this is right. And if it's not right, I... I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose it. I'm very tired. I need to work out. I need to shower. I need to wash my sheets. But I also don't feel like I can do any of those things until I can kind of see the light at the end of the tunnel. And I do not see that in the slightest. I think I need to stop at Target and get more coffee because I don't have any more at home. Oh my God, I'm so tired. Remember to grab your receipt. Thanks. We have finished both of the panels. I did the three needle bind off the way you're not supposed to. I have the seam on the outside instead of hiding it underneath because sometimes I like the way that this looks. I think I'm liking the rolled edge. It's not rolling too much. I also added more rows. So like if it rolls, it'll just be kind of like a cropped piece. I think it's looking pretty cute. So I've seen photos of sweaters that have this like almost like a cosmetic stitching like it's clearly not the stitching that's holding the piece together but people do it as like an aesthetic choice and I kind of want to do that along this seam it's partially the reason why I did this I think I'm going to do that in this red color knitting or just like any art is funny because you like learn how things are supposed to be done and then you have this like weird back step almost what I'm doing is making it look like I don't know how to attach two panels together you learn the way things are supposed to be done so you can break the rules 
how do we think that looks? I think that looks really cute. I mean, it looks like a child stitched it together, but that's kind of the vibe I'm going for because the lyrics, what a shame she's fucked in the head. I feel like the sweater should be a little fucked. It shouldn't be like a perfectly sewn, wonderful sweater. We are starting on the sleeves. I have selected a bunch of colors. My mind has changed a zillion times about how I wanna do the sleeves, but I think I have finally decided. So take a look at this. I don't know if you can classify this as a palette when it's like literally every single color under the sun, but this is our palette. I'm gonna knit the sleeves flat and do stripes, but throw in maybe the occasional square. I don't know, it's gonna be a, let's call it a mosaic. Knitting the sleeves flat as opposed to in the round will allow for me to make it a little bit more crazy maybe, because I feel like in the round is a little bit more limiting. I just need to get started. This whole vlog is me being like, ugh, I don't know guys. God, I'm tired, I'm stressed. It's called being an artist. Do you wanna give some words of wisdom to the people? Words of wisdom to the people. First of all, hi people. Second of all, step away for a second, get in the shower and then come back. Cause that's what I do when I mm -hmm. have a problem. I did shower after I finished this main mm -hmm. piece. I was very proud of myself. Very good job. Um, but clearly no progress has been made since that shower that I had a few hours ago because I've just been doing a lot of thinking. I love it. I cannot wait to see the final piece. <laughs> you and me both, babe. Is um, Trish gonna take over the driving so that you can continue to knit? No, we're just gonna hope that I finish before the drive. Oh, I was including your driving as like another- No. Oh, you're like literally trying to be finished by Saturday. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you went to bed at 2 a.m. last night. Uh -huh. Let's say you go to bed at 2 a.m. tonight. Uh -huh. Let's say, God forbid, you go to sleep at 2 a.m. the next day. Uh -huh. You're gonna wake up and drive. You personally will drive. Uh -huh. to Arizona. Mm -hmm. You're going to go to the show mm -hmm. and, the, and the party bus. Mm -hmm. Probably be out until, I don't know, like 2 a.m. again and then drive back to Los Angeles mm -hmm. the next day. And probably like pass out, etc. Not to sound like your mother, but I'm just like worried about you just like crashing. <laughs> My toilet's been making that sound for the past like two hours. I think I flushed two hours ago. It's not overflowing, it's staying at the same level, so I'm not too concerned. I'm just like, why is it hissing? I feel like these days I'm just like more afraid of my toilet than I am of like getting an STD. I hate when guests are over because I always have to tell them that my toilet's not dirty. If it looks like there's poop at the bottom of it, it's not poop, it's rust. And it was there when we moved in. It's not my fault. Anyways. This is the progress that we've made. I am knitting with a ton of colors, getting my yarn all tangled. The bottom's open. I haven't really like sewed this all the way down, but the goal is that we will sew this down. It'll eventually flare out, but I'm gonna kind of have a slit up the side that'll make it cool looking. Potentially, potentially very cool looking. I feel like the sleeve is going by faster than I anticipated, which is good, but I'm going to have so many ends to weave in, which knowing me, I will not be weaving those ends. Is it Taylor Swift? Not necessarily. I do want to go to bed, but I feel like I should stay up for like another hour. It's midnight. <sighs> I don't have to turn on any white noise this evening because my toilet will kind of provide that. I wish it would stop. Oh my God, I need it to stop. I have a very strong memory of these geese like hissing at me as a child and that's what it's kind of reminding me of. This navy blue patch kind of looks like Oklahoma and I'm really hating that because, you know, I dated a single man from Oklahoma and somehow I ended up disliking the state in its entirety, which is not fair to the great state of Oklahoma, but it's just how it is sometimes. Frankie Bug is staying with us for the next few days because her mom just left town. So here she is in her playpen in Miss Megan's room. She looks great. Oh, she's coming out eating her lettuce. I need to get her some fresh lettuce this morning. Oh, she's hungry. Say breakfast time. It is Thursday. I finished the sleeve because I was just kind of freestyling and doing whatever came to mind. I wanna make something for the concert, but I also want it to be the kind of sweater that even if you don't know the lyrics and you don't know what it's for, you'll probably still think it's cute. So. I 
we are about to go get some tacos and one margarita because I have to knit when I come home and knitting and drinking is not a good combination. I've been there before. This is the update. Sorry, all of my yarn is pulling from the next room. Okay, so sleeve one, we know it, we love it. This is how far we are on this sleeve. Where I don't think we're quite to the split. And then once you're at the split, I feel like you're pretty much home free. So hopefully we come home and finish this tonight. I think I'm liking it. Can tell you this much, I like it way more than whatever the hell I was working on the first time. Wait, let me look at it in the mirror. Aww. Wait, it's actually really cute. I'm like kind of proud of myself, dare I say. Oh my God, look at all of this yarn. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> We are almost done with this sleeve, barely anything left. I think it's cool. Like it's just very fucking random. We are just gonna power through this second sleeve and as soon as we finish that, we are. Both of the sleeves are done. I also forgot to show you guys that the pink that I ended up getting, different color pink. Did not realize until I was done with the panel. Not that I would have gone back and fixed it. I would have just accepted defeat, which I did. I have been accepting defeat this entire video. Don't know which sleeve I like more. How can you even pick? I'm not going to watch any footage from the concert tonight because Tristan and I agreed that we're gonna pretend like the second night is the first night and go into it blind. So it's gonna be pretty hard because when I get on Twitter or Instagram, TikTok, everything I see is immediately Taylor Swift. So I'm gonna have to just like really try to not open those apps. I'm not gonna weave in the ends because I honestly like don't hate what it looks like with all of this stuff coming out. I deserve a bagel. I've been watching this YouTube video that I found about how to do a chain stitch embroidery on top of knitting, and we're gonna try to attempt our first word. I think I'm gonna make them all different colors. I think it's kind of like, it, it does look like a three-year-old did it, but at the same time, a three-year-old couldn't have done it. This handwriting looks like a child's handwriting. The stitching is very hard to get like pretty. So that's a new skill I can work on. I'm not obsessed with it. It only took like forever. It's about 11 p.m. So I'm guessing Taylor is done with the concert tonight. I opened Twitter once and the very first tweet was what she opened with. And so after that, I'm, I'm not, I'm not opening it anymore. Tristan and I are trying to leave at like 6 a.m. tomorrow. We'll see if that happens because I think that he is out on the town right now. I, I'm just gonna shove him in the car. I don't care if he's like hungover. I'm just gonna put him in the car. Because I've been working on this like nonstop for the past few days, I haven't even tried on anything that I would wear in my bottom half with this. And I really don't feel like it right now. So I think I'm just gonna put a bunch of different skirts and jeans and different options and then I can decide once we're at the hotel. I just don't feel like doing the whole outfit thing right now. We'll put together the final outfit and maybe when I'm looking in the mirror in Arizona, I like it slightly more with a full outfit and like makeup and hair and everything. Standing here right now, it's whatever. And on that note, I am going to go to sleep because I do have to drive like seven hours tomorrow starting at 6 a.m. Okay, we're at the hotel room in Arizona. I just wanted to say, here I am about to go to the concert. I'm having another vlog after this that's me and Tristan on our road trip and stuff, but I wanted to end this. I do like the sweater. I feel like I've been very negative this whole video. I like it. <laughs> Tristan's laughing at me. I'm just, it's a complicated relationship and that's fine. We have those in our that's lives. That's your cross to bear. That is my cross to bear. We're gonna have fun at the concert. It really doesn't matter what the sweater looks like because we're gonna have fun. Thank you for watching. Make sure to watch the next vlog because I'll be definitely like less stressed in that one because it's starting after I finish the sweater. So I'm probably a little bit happier. Love you guys. Bye guys. Bye.